Yes, good morning, my dear students. So the next topic in VC++ is document view architecture. So this is going to be a very important question. Document view architecture. We have already spoken about the different classes, say your maybe it your frame window class, be it your C document class, be it your C view class. So we have discussed about documents and views and splitter window also. Right. Now let us see about the architecture. What is the relationship between a document and a view? So that is going to be your document view architecture right let us start so here document view architecture it's a framework it's going to be a skeleton framework wherein you are going to have the data stored in the document so it is going to be a skeleton framework it will have data stored in form of a document and view is going to be an interactive view interactive in, in the sense interactive with the user so view is going to be interactive with the user so as i told you Whenever there is this document and view, one example which you can, which you have come across, which you can always remember will be, let us say I am going to create some data in Excel sheet. So I am going to create your marks in data in an Excel sheet and I am keeping that, I am going to project it in form of a graph to find out. Let us say I can find out from the given data, I can find out number of students passed and number of students failed. I can find out how many got first class, how many got second class, how many got distinction. Okay. So what happens the document here is the same data. I have the same data, but however the user wants to view it, he can view the data, right? Though we are saying it is an Excel, the data is present in the Excel sheet, but I'm creating views in a graph, but still I can create, say I only wanted to know the pass and fail percentage, or I wanted to know how many got first class, how many got second class, or I wanted to know how many got between say 60 and 80. So I just wanted to know people from 60 and 80, so let us say 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. This is what I wanted to know how many students in each category. So any kind of viewing can be done. So this is one example you can always remember when you uh, when we are discussing about document and view architecture. Another example with respect to your visual programming, I can tell you is the data is stored inside the database, right? We have created many tables, right? We are storing data inside a database, but how are we fetching the data? We are fetching the data to the front end. The storing the data in a database, you can see that as a document. Let us say that as for example, it is a document. And how, I, how am I viewing it in the front end is going to be my view. So I can use queries and say, select all the students who have secured more than 60 marks. So I can use a query and fetch those data alone to the front end. Okay, so my view can be different, right? These two examples, if you remember, you can relate very much easily to your document and view architecture. So as I, I told you, it is a skeleton framework. It is going to have two things. So two things put together. One is a document. Other one is a view. So document will store the data and manage the data. And it can create from the data, you can create any number of views. Okay. So I repeat, document is a place where you store the data. And then using the data, you can create any number of views. The data is stored and managed in a, a set document, right? Views are going to be displayed. So it is going to display the data in various forms and in interactive forms or however the form the user wants it. How can you do that? By selecting only few things. Say so you are going to choose what selection you are going to make and view only those kind of those data, that data. So you don't have to view all the data present in your a document you only choose which one you wanted which one the user wanted to see and how he wants to see it can be presented to the user right this is called view right so now we have seen what do you mean by document view architecture what is a document and what is a view so how can we create this document and views in vb vc++ okay so how can you create this documents and views in vc++ is what we are going to discuss now so as we know we always use this MFC classes to create all the concepts, whatever we have studied, we have seen the MFC classes which is associated with all those concepts. Similarly, for documents and view also, we have uh, various classes, right? So as I told you, first and foremost class, base class is going to be your C Win app. You are going to create a Windows application using this class called C Win app, right? So inside the application, I'm going to create a frame window. I'm going to create a frame window. In the frame window, I can store two things. I can store C document and also store a C view. So C document is like your back end and C view is your front end, right? So when you see the actual diagram of the architecture, you will understand it better, right? So let us see. 
right so let us go to the diagram first and come back to this see here so your application this is your windows application your windows application will have a frame window so the window we are seeing below is called as your frame window the frame window actually has two parts one is going to be your what backend which where you are going to store the data in form of a document and the other one is nothing but your view is your front end where you are going to view the data right so this is going to be your first on top one box you see that a box is nothing but your whole application in the application has a frame window that is the uh, uh, big rectangle you see below that that is nothing but your frame window frame window uh, can be divided into two parts one is the back end which you see on your right hand side that is nothing but your document object another one is the view object right this is how you can visualize your document view architecture so let us start again with what do you mean by document a document is a data object you can store data let us say a word processor for example a, a microsoft word will store some information in it so that can also be known as a document right apart from that you can have spreadsheets right a spreadsheets is nothing but your excel sheets as i told you you can also have what the databases where you store the information so all these things together are going to be stored or encapsulated within a document you manage the document can manage it store the data and manage the data also right so managing here is retrieval storing and retrieval is possible in a document similarly view as i told you is going to be a front end it is going to be interactive with the user so whatever you have in the document you are going to create some interactive view of the data present inside the document for example i told you graphs right you can create a graph so where all i can create documents and views i can create a document and view in an sdi frame window or it can also be created in mdi frame window so it can be created in sdi frame windows and also can be created in mdi frame window so this is all about your document view architecture so we saw a diagram which is going to tell you what is the basis in the document view architecture yes so again there is another way of visualizing it you have the windows app so see win app is the your windows is there then inside that you have your frame window your frame window again has two parts so win app c win app class has a frame window class and frame window class has two different classes one is called c document class other one is called c view class c document class is going to store the data and c view class is going to help you to view the data however the user wants it right so this is a, again a doc, uh, again a representation of document view architecture just for your understanding you can either draw this diagram or the previous any one can be drawn along with this right so this is again we are visualizing so we have the frame window the document is here which is going to be a back end you are just projecting the data which is present in your back end as a view and the data which is present in a document is projected in form of a view right so what you can do you can draw this diagram which depicts the relationship between c win app c frame window c document and c view classes in this diagram also you can draw which is going to tell you what how your data is represented Okay, how your data present the document is represented using view so this is called as document view architecture yes so what are the features so features here i have what i have taken as as a feature is how can you actually visualize the architecture how can i visualize the architecture is data is handled in different and displayed separately so data is stored or handled separately and data is displayed separately so how data is stored data is stored in form of a doc or document how it is visualized displayed in form of a view again i am telling you in the feature that you can create a spreadsheet which has data and then create a chart view for that particular data right so this is what i am giving you these are the features of your document view or you can see advantages of your document view architecture so you can keep two separate things and then view it in different way right so what and the one you have to understand it it's a architecture which has two parts that's it right so common code can be used for a for connecting your document and view. it is like your back end and your front end so you can have common code which connects both these things right so whatever you have in your documents can al always be updated and you can always project the data in the way the user wants it again this is an important feature or an advantage right and this can be used where it can be used in a single window or sti sti interface you can use it in sti interfaces you can use it in mdi multiple document interfaces you can use it in splitter windows each and every window i said it will have a document okay so document view can also be created in splitter 
windows. These are the places where you can create a document view architecture. Right? So as I told you, it's a very important concept. First, you should uh, know what do you mean by a document view architecture. Right? Then you have to explain what do you mean by document, then explain what do you mean by view, give an example, and then draw the couple of diagrams which I have already discussed. And last, you have to say what are the advantages, what all you can do with document view architecture. Yes.